man behind the scenes what have you got us into this afternoon i think this is uh what you would call sucking up to the honey here i can promise you one thing this job ain't paying it, it ain't paying but either you're wanting to buy something else or you're trying to make good for the things you have bought it's all top secret information that's classified it is isn't it? <laughs> All right, so here's what's going on. It's been almost six years ago now. We made a video of putting some asphalt millings on my driveway. And you guys ask from time to time how they've been holding up. Well, you wanna know how they've been holding up? I have done zero maintenance on those since I put them on. Can you attest to that? Yes, you have not. You nothing. have done nothing. Nothing, nothing. And honestly, they've held up very well until this winter, then they start falling apart yeah so that is uh five years maintenance free that's a pretty big win ain't it? yeah all right mama said she wanted the driveway fixed so we're pulling off a job to go fix the driveway <laughs> i don't think we're pulling all the job and you know we're in between jobs that's me about this whole deal you know where these millings were supposed to go my oh job, yeah 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 house. yeah well i yeah. didn't get enough of them no you didn't get enough of them well there would have been enough to do what i wanted to do to get started at the, my shop you see where you rank in priorities versus yeah, the wife well, versus Jenna you always above me you know i mean not to throw insult to injury here but i think she's taller than you too <laughs> i wear my i wear my tall heel boots are we uh <laughs> all right hey i do have good news though all right we got a new attachment we can try out oh yes we do i don't know how well it's gonna work with these but we're gonna find out one way or the other yeah so all right First things first, let's uh, let's get a load on the truck and then we'll go up there and I'll uh, I'll show you show you what the driveway looks like after five years of abuse and uh, show you the plan. Yep. Now, for the record, uh, last time I seen you load a truck with a front end loader was pretty quick. Have you lost your touch or do you think you can? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but that's like a third of the size of the last one. But so is the truck. <laughs> I don't know. We put 30, well, yeah, maybe. Yeah. We'll find yeah, out. I'm putting 36. So you got to time me? That. It took me three minutes on the other one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd go all Andrew style and go bouncing across there and <laughs> slam into the side of it. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to do that. I will dock points here at my games. <laughs> okay, your uh, games. Yeah. Well, well, let me, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, do I have the hat on? I don't have the hat on today. <laughs> the uh, National Equipment League videos. They edited, they they left more in there than I thought they were going to with Andrew's run, but they edited a lot out. Did they? The main thing is I'm going to make sure the bucket is empty after every day. Yeah. <laughs> All, right, All right, I'll let you be the judge. All right. All right, I'll let him empty his bucket to make it fair. All right, time starts. As soon as he puts it in drive, time starts. All right, it's in drive. It starts now. consider that a full bucket either. I don't buy a bucket like that. He'd be chewing me out for it. Hey, looks like somebody's been having a party back here. That's 
a little better. I'll give him a full bucket on that. We are now hitting two minutes right now. Two minutes into it. I'm sure he's going to have every excuse in the book, but uh, not enough power in the machine. Millings were sticking together too much. Oh, now he's gonna blame the neighbor. But uh, no matter, he's at uh, four minutes right about now. Four minutes. I already explained all the excuses you were gonna have. Oh, it don't work as good there at that. Oh, got a little sweat in your eyes? Yeah. Hey, bro, I didn't hit the truck. No, uh-uh. So I guess I'll take 10 seconds off of it. So it was uh, a minute, three minutes, 50 seconds. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, that's 30 seconds you got, Doc. Or add it on. So here's an interesting fun fact for you. You ready? Okay. The first video on my channel that actually kind of like somewhat blew up, got a whole bunch of views, was the video, uh, I think it's called Redneck Paving My Driveway, which never we put all the millings in there. Ironically, I was using the exact same loader to load them, but I did have a different truck then. We had yeah, the old CD500. So. And you know how many times in that video I got called an absolute idiot for not spreading these things? Really? Oh yeah, I was a moron because why don't you just spread them? Why don't you just set the chains and spread them? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna set the chains and try to spread these. And if I turn this truck over, that's gonna be your guys' fault. Now, what happens is, as you guys see when we were loading this up, uh, we're gonna have to go super wide, so go like 21. 21 from right here. 21 from right here. Yeah, that's our only hope for getting these things to come out is go wide. Yeah. So what happens is there's big wads of asphalt in there and they get stuck in a tailgate and they don't come out and the bed don't unload evenly. <clears throat> and if you really don't pay attention to what you're doing, you flip the truck over. So we're gonna try at least one time to spread these things. If it goes horribly wrong, I don't wanna blame it on you guys, it's your guys' fault, so. All right, you ready? You 21? I'm too busy talking, I haven't got to 21 yet. Yeah, I'm 21. 21 is in the lock. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Twenty-one's this one. Yep. Yep. All right, let's go do it. Right. I didn't hold it. I didn't load it extremely heavy. I could probably get at least two more buckets on there. But let's do a test run with this and see how it goes. Right. Now, for the record... My commentary might not be as good as Ryan's. <laughs> he did a good job, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He, he did, did a good job. But you, good. but you got you a new hat. I did get me a new hat. Hey. Oh yeah. Is this where I get a vent a little bit? National Equipment League vent. I had, I had, I had filed some grievances with the commissioner because if they would have had the rules right, right, I would have won. Yeah, no. Yes, yes. There's no, no arguing this. Nope. The rightful guy won that. Oh, I forgot you're his coach, ain't he? That's right. <laughs> I forgot about the trainer video. Yeah. All right, let's go. Then we'll go up there and judge his skid steer operate. That sounds like a great idea. <clears throat> the National Equipment League videos are pretty cool. They're on the Hyundai's channel. If you guys don't know what we're talking about for some crazy reason, I'll try my best to remember to link them down below. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, Brian Furness that did end up winning, he was a deserving winner. It was uh, pretty cool to see see that go down. So, all right, we got air, we got a truck, we got air conditioning. <clears throat> the other thing about getting this done, these buildings have been sitting here 
for a couple months now. I really need to get this done. Today's, I don't know, first of August. I really need to get this done while it's still hot because the heat from the sun is what'll kind of bond everything together for us. So we need to make sure it's, uh, make sure we give the best possible chance to uh, hold up. So, all right, off to the house we go. All right, guys, here's what the driveway looks like after five years. And you can see the majority of it, it's almost like, it's almost like it's still asphalt. It's pretty impressive for five years of no maintenance and a lot of abuse, yeah. ain't it? The problem is, if you guys go back and watch those old videos, I talked about the importance of this milling's actually working. It's making sure you got a good hard base in there. And uh, you can pretty much tell right here, our base kind of goes away. I kind of buried the truck over there in the yeah. ditch at one point mm -hmm. and the base comes back. We got one spot right here that's, I don't know, what is it? I mean, it still ain't bad for five years and never touched it with a tractor. No, no. Not bad at all. So anyways, what we're going to do is come back in here. Some of the subgrade, that's some of the mud pumping up through there. Uh, long story short, we just ain't got a good base underneath there. And then eventually what happened was we lost the crown on the road and the water started running down the road. Once the water started running down the road, it started washing our uh, millings off. And we got one other spot right down there that's kind of the same same issue with uh, with some bad base. You know what happened down there, to be honest with you? Bubba dump happened. I hauled like oh. five or six loads of dirt up the driveway and that was just a little bit too much extra weight. Yeah. All right, so I think we, you want to start at the top so that whenever I come back with the truck next time, it's kind of doubles up as a compactor. Yeah. Yeah, we do that. All right, you think this is actually going to spread or you think I'm going to go willy into the sky? Oh, we don't go willy into the sky. I, you know, you got clumps in there, some pretty big clumps. Well, everybody on the internet says we're an idiot if we don't spread. Now we're going to be idiots because we spread. <laughs> <laughs> oh I, already, I, I already know that Six because I've tried it. I've tried it before. So, all right. All right. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna put my seatbelt on and go for it. Uh, all right. I hope this ain't an early day for me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to stick around and critique your skid steer operating like you critiqued my uh, uh, loader operating? No, you need to go get more milling. Oh, I need to go get more yeah. millings. I got you. Okay. Yeah, I've never done millings before, so I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to back up a little past where we want to spread. We're going to get us a running start. Yep. And then, uh, yeah. We're going to just get a commitment. <laughs> All right. So I think he needs to start right here at my feet. That's where I think he needs to start. I just don't know about this. A uh, lot of big chunks in there. Big chunks. Oh. I could see this working if you didn't have big chunks, but them big chunks in there are probably like four foot long. 
Now, I'm going to say we're idiots because we even tried this. <clears throat> if it was all ground up, no big chunks, I could see it working. I told you so. Yeah, that worked great. Yeah. I'm mad at your people. Or the people that thought that this was a good idea. All this thing does is just bubble them up. Yeah, it's great, they said. We need these plugs full right now. Yeah. I don't know. Boy, you got a lot on there yet. This was the smartest idea you ever had. I can't believe it. The commenters are right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to wreck my truck. Oh, yeah. So, we got the chains it. off. We tried it. Now we're going back to my way. Your way? We're going back to my tried and true method. I will have to admit, this yeah. was a little bit easier with the old, uh, I had the C8500 on this job last time. Yeah. But uh, this one hauls a little bit more. Hey, hauls a little bit more. Truck. Front tires but, only bounced off the ground once. Yeah, twice maybe. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, we're gonna do what we did last time. I'm gonna try to dub a series of small little piles. Yeah. And then you're just gonna take skits there and- Bust them down bust and- Bust them out. Track them. Uh, I'll back over this. We'll just keep working our way there. All right. good spread job there. I like it. All right, so I got first load spread out. Uh, it does need to be thicker. He wanted it about six inches thick. Up here, it's uh, down here where you can see. It's right at six inches, but just from there to here, everything else is kind of blended in. So I better call him, tell him there's a truck going by so they don't meet on that road. Just a heads up. Uh, Wade's triaxles headed out, headed out now. Just went by the house. All right, now back to what I was saying. So up here I got four to six inches thick. Down here, not so much. I was just kind of filling it in, trying to make it as smooth as I can so whenever he dumps it, uh, a little bit easier for him. But uh, yeah, I think next one I'm gonna take him down. There's a little wash out there. Have him dump there and put me about four piles and then I can bring this where I got it four to six inches thick, bring it on out down to that washout. All right, my uh, wannabe truck driver guy has returned with another load of millings. So, see if I can get him back down there where I want him.
Yeah, he's probably not going to be too happy that uh, the millings didn't make it as far as he wanted them to. So I had time to drive, I was thinking. You were thinking. You know what people already commented? What? They're like, well, you should you should set your chains farther off. Yeah, they probably were. But I'd get we I'd get the same result. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I have to worry about something still getting stuck in there. The other thing that's a limiting factor is I can only drive so fast going uphill. Yeah. So somebody's gonna be like, why don't you spread going downhill? Well then you gotta get the bed so high. Yeah. You fall off at a pothole like I did down there, and next yeah. thing you know, you're looking at the ground out the side window. Yeah, I think so, either. So I think we're just going to stick it. This worked, this worked pretty good, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, it worked pretty good. All right. Wait. Just got that longer wade truck I got to watch out for. It keeps yeah. coming in out here. I think you got a little bit of time. Yeah, he's slow. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because you guys think I'm overloaded. <laughs> Holy <laughs> snikey. That poor puppy dog's a pan. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to get there alone. I'll be back. All right, guys, let's get uh, another load on the old truck here.
30. We are off. So we'll see how Aaron's getting along on the other end. Oh, hang on. That's the gear we need. guys that will come out really nice Aaron's got that built up there the right thing to do would be to dig that soft spot out and uh, get some good subgrade in there and put this over top of it but that's not what we're gonna do right now we're putting a band-aid on it the last band-aid the last band-aid lasted five years I mean we'll get six years out of this one one of these days maybe we'll hit the lottery and we'll pay for concrete this thing we gonna need to adjust the clutch brake We'll pave our uh, concrete this thing, but why are you not going? That is not in the cards. What am I up against? Oh. Anyways, that's not in the cards for today. Or tomorrow. Or next year. This road actually holds up really well except for these two spots. You guys got to remember whenever I built this road, all I had was that OB69 U dozer and a single axle dump truck. It was, uh, I've learned a lot about building roads since I built this one. But I'm still not going to play. It's held up pretty good for the, uh, held up pretty good for the most part. So, all right. Aaron thinks we probably need at least two more loads, which I'll agree with. So let's go down and throw one more load on. We'll see what it looks like. And, uh, we'll try out our new attachment we got on there. We gotta watch out for a longer way triaxle truck because they've been hauling churn out up there and I don't wanna run them in the ditch.
off with another load. Hopefully, second to last one. Made it to the bottom. Let's see if we can do some fancy, fancy dumping here. That, uh, if you guys remember the C8500, it had a live PTO on it, so you could raise the bed without pushing the clutch in, because it ran off the front of the engine. This truck's not that way. The uh, PTO runs off of the PTO runs off the transmission, so you got to have the clutch out which in situations like this makes it a little more difficult because you're going to be in neutral or in gear. you got to kind of goose the throttle a little bit. I'll get a little bit to fall out. Let me raise the bed a little bit. Goose the throttle. Raise the bed a little bit. Goose the throttle. Raise the bed a little bit. That's my best one yet. Yeah, it was. It's too shabby, is it? Think uh, one more is gonna be enough? Yeah, I think so. I think that pile you got left down there will be enough to do this. Yeah. And then uh, this is where I was wondering. So it kind of looks like a ditch is over there. Yep. So wonder here if we don't need to cut more out. Yeah, you can. Up to, here. Up to right there. Yeah. I'd say just drag your, drop your track down that ditch over there and knife out what you can. And then we can build this up even a little bit higher if we want to. Yeah. What we're trying to do is just keep out water from jumping across the driveway right there. Yeah. So. You got a culvert over there for that. Yeah. Well, see what scurry is, that used to be a flat spot where I was going to put a barn at. And the culvert was in the ditch behind it. And then Andy decided to build a house over there, so my his driveway goes through my flat spot, yeah. and, the, and I just left the culvert where it was at. <laughs> I see. So right in front of the skid steer, there used to be about an eight foot tall bank hill. It was that was actually dug back into the hill right there. Really? Yeah. You can still kind of see it right here. See how it's all dug back yeah. in? Yeah. Huh. Things sure have changed around that's where here. our shop was gonna be huh yeah that's where our shop was gonna be but now i got a neighbor yeah all right well 
I'm gonna let you uh, finesse this one around. And yep. I'm gonna go uh, get one more load. The last load last load since you're the superintendent on this job yeah yeah i if, if i'm superintendent on it i didn't see anything wrong with it before we you, started yeah well my <laughs> my superintendent would disagree with you if i was superintendent this would be going somewhere else <laughs> <laughs> well it's a shame this is the last load i'm probably getting pretty good at dumping them out for you yeah so all right we're actually going to put this load up where we put that first load at try to build that up a little bit and uh Keep that soft spot from coming back and keep the water off of it so all right let's get that dumped yep i'm gonna go down and change the fuel filter on my roller yeah i don't want to not make it up the hill yeah <laughs> yeah that would not be good <laughs> not be good and then uh i guess we'll put that uh crowning grater on there and see how it works yeah all right oh he's got a little more on there this time that front end a little lighter keep on going keep on going keep on going I'd say right about there my mind you're doing great up 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 well he read my mind until there all right it's all right though i'm a little light right there where that big pile's at Oh my, I tell you what, these little speed bumps I ain't worried about. First mountain he had there, I was a little worried about. It's funny, I don't see nothing wrong with it. This ain't a Jeep. <laughs> yeah, let's leave it until the boss gets home. Let's leave it. I bury you. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to go put that fuel filter on. All right. All right, guys, so this is the roller that was at the fair. It went down on us with the plugged up fuel filter. Uh, it has to do with fuel algae. Fuel algae is just that. It's an algae that grows in the fuel, and it's some nasty, nasty stuff. So I put some treatment in it, and uh, I've got a new to us well not new to us it's a new fuel filter it looks like it's the right one it's kind of hard to tell what's what but let's see if we can get up in there i'm gonna try to do this without taking the hood off or the bolt up here on top you guys can't see anything can you yep there it is right there bolts up here on top takes that off basically the way this works the top of the housing is the top of the filter and the bottom of the housing is this and then this is the filter part so let me see if i can get that one out of there i'll show you all right there's the filter here's the new one it does look like the right one the entire filter is filled up with that stuff that's that fuel algae you can almost kind of tell a treatment we put in there is starting to work because it's usually sticky and it's kind of starting to uh break down a little bit so 
Oh, that is, that is yummy. Can you see it? Yummy, yummy. All right, we get this new filter on here. We'll get this thing primed up, see if we can get her to start. And uh, it'll be perfect for rolling these millings in. All right, new filter is on. It's got a little bit of bleeder up there on top. Hopefully we can get that filled. I can't pre-fill that thing because the bottom of the filter is uh, part of the actual housing. So it's got a little primer pump right here. Feels like it's pumping. Hopefully we can get some air to come out the top up there. It looks like it is. And uh, oh yeah. It'll start and uh, not lose prime. Come on, baby. Oh, we got a mad wasp. And it died. It's not good. It's not good. All right, so we're going to have to bust these injector lines loose. Get what air we can out of here. Somewhere up in there, there's a wasp nest. I'm really hoping he don't come find me. All right, if you guys see fuel come out of those holler. All right, take two. Here we go. Hope it'll start. the truck up and down here once you The good news is that you have good brakes. Brandon right. does a good job rolling though, look at that. You just gotta get up the hill. We're up back up. That gotta be better. This thing a try guys rhino accent assist it's what they call a crowning grader this side is adjustable by a jack that side is adjustable by a cylinder and what we want to do especially on a road going down a hill this way you see a cross section of the road we used to have a crowning so the water drains off 
Normally we use our greater attachment for that, but this is a lot cheaper option if it works. So we're gonna put it on, give it a try, and see how it does. We tried to use it up at the fair, but we got so much rain, it just didn't work out. using this thing guys so don't laugh at me i don't know if you can see just the one side of that raises up and down the other side stays stationary we're gonna go out here we need this thing we need this thing to crown but we also need it to level out a little bit To start it first. Oh, there we go. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, we're not starting out the greatest. Yeah, that's that's looking good.
that is normal. All that smoke you see, that's normal. Don't worry about it. I can barely see the roller. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Uh, we were a little thin up here. I really would like to put some in. Um, there's a little bit of a dip there. I'd like to fill that in a little bit. That's kind of where that transition to this little uh, shortcut drive is. But uh, other than that, everything else looks really good. I look like it that's some hey. daredevil rover driving <laughs> yeah i ain't getting on that thing on this mountain i can tell you that right now uh going up the hill was more my speed uh, i'm just waiting for a... all those homemade parts i put in the rear end or the fuel filter to close because i'm not for sure if the brakes would hold it <laughs> yeah but if it dies i got no steering we're just alone for the ride yeah but now the approach into your brother's drive turned out great. It did. It turned out really nice. Well, down there uh, the sun's heading. I mean, our film started to stick together. So hopefully this good. will get us another. Hopefully this will get us another five years. Yeah. Because last yeah, time, be... honestly, I mean, we can't complain. No. The truck traffic no. we have in and out of here and the yeah. vehicle traffic in and out of here. It is, uh, it is absolutely awesome. So. So when we doing the hill? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's quite ready yet. That's right. The rest of the millings go over to my shop. We're going to have to, uh, we got to find the proper application for that little crowning grader. Because I think it would work really good if we were set up. Yeah. There. We just kind of rushed it today and weren't quite set up. Yep. It, so. And I've got hundreds of hours running that thing. So yeah. It works so. out pretty good. If I did this the first time, that's all I had. Really? Well, I uh, well, didn't even have that tractor. I had the 855. Oh, I had the 855? I back and watch the rollers, all the, the, the videos. I was using the roller of the go-kart track, the pull behind. I got away from it, <laughs> and I pulled her up in a ditch down there. It was all turned over. Oh, man. So yeah. I was having flashbacks. Yeah. Last time I rolled this hill, it didn't turn out too well. Uh, I'm well, I'm glad it went a lot better I'm this time. i definitely upgraded tractors. I'm not for sure if I've upgraded rollers. <laughs> so. All right, man. All right. Seems we got to call it. All right. That sounds here. good. That was a quick little afternoon. Yeah, oh, yeah, it out yeah. Well, I mean, keep your mama happy. Yeah. I just want to know what you're gonna buy next. You're doing this because you want to buy something. I know it. I can, I'm I can sense it. Maybe I'm just still trying to get her over the truck you sold me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think that's gone. <laughs> I, I think that's done and over with. I think there's something else yeah. that you're looking at. So, we got a vacation coming up. Are you buying something on this vacation? Nothing I know of, but anything's possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now that I'm going with me, now that you're going with me as vacation. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I like spending your money. <laughs> All right, we gotta go. All right. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, big old thumbs up. Catch us on the next one. Consider subscribing. Tell them bye. All right. See you guys.